Hey guys, as you can see, I have two virtual machines running. Um, in one of the virtual machines, I have Ubuntu 11.4, 11 the final release which came out a few days ago. And in the other virtual machine, I have Windows 7 Professional. Uh, the point of this video is to compare the default um, installations to one another, not to say that Ubuntu is better than Windows 7 or vice versa. Um, and each of the virtual machines has 2048 megabytes of RAM, a 20 gigabyte hard drive, 3D acceleration is enabled and they both have 128 megabytes of video memory. Um, this is enough for the Unity interface to work in Ubuntu, however it isn't enough for the error effect to work in Windows 7. Um, I would first, uh, I'd also like to point out the reason um, the Ubuntu window is, or the virtual machine window for Ubuntu is larger than the Windows um, 7 window is for technical reasons, um, not because I favour one over the other. If you want to know exactly why and you know ask me and I'll tell you um, so yeah let's um, have a look at um, the unity dock in Ubuntu first um, as you can see we these are the um, default um, applications pinned to the dock by default um, and we also have this bar at the top I will get back to the um, menu in a minute um, and let's have a look at the icons here this whole section is still a little bit buggy, even though it's the final release. Um, I'm not sure if it's just um, the virtual machine or if it's a you know a widely um, common problem. Though when you click on the menu, sometimes they don't open. Um, you know this is a good release of Ubuntu. I really like it. Though they really need to um, fix this and soon. Um, will they open? Ah, uh, yep. They just started working. They really need to fix that though. So we have the um, networking. We have um, the volume control, and I quite like the fact that there were Banshee Media Player controls um, built in by default. Uh, you know, this is sort of, um, you know, for, ch you know, your chat appears here, your mail appears here. You can set up broadcast accounts like Twitter when you want to run. Uh, you have the time here, and I quite like, you know, the calendar. It's, you know, pretty nice, and you can also add events, which I like. Um, and you know when you're connected to um, you know MSN for example you can set your status here which is you know pretty nice as well and here is um, how you you know lock the screen and you know switch users log out hibernate restart shut down etc and there's also system settings um, and you're probably common with um, you know the windows layout we obviously have um, the start button which I will get back to in a minute um, these are the default pinned applications and obviously when new applications are opened they appear here and go away when closed the same as in the um, unity bar um, what's this this is the action center um, I won't worry about that um, the network um, the volume control and the calendar is also pretty good in Windows 7 too uh, so now let's take a look at the actual application menus. Uh, we sort of have two menus in Ubuntu. We have this sort of menu at the top here where you can put all of your shortcuts or your favourite applications as shortcuts. And you can also search for um, installed applications here. If it will let me. It's, I don't know, this um, installation is being a bit buggy, I don't know why. Though as you can see, you can easily um, search for um, you know applications. And to access all of your applications, there's a button down here. Um, I'm not sure whether or not it's the best placement for the applications menu. Though you click applications, it has most frequently used, installed applications, and that's available for download. Um, so, for example, I can click installed applications and it shows them all. So, if you don't want to, you know, sift um, through all of them and, you know, try and find what you're after, um, the filter really comes in handy. If you are wanting to play a game, you can select games and only um, the games will come up, the installed games and the, game, the games available for download, um, you know, which is pretty nice. And in Windows 7, we obviously um, have the Start menu with the All Programs um, menu. Um, you know, there aren't many applications installed by default. So now I would like to show you the basic um, window behavior in each of the operating systems. So let's open up the Home folder in Ubuntu. 
this might take a few seconds. So here it is, it's not covering up the whole screen, I can maximise it. And this is um, what has radically changed in Ubuntu. Um, it's sort of like um, the close, um, minimise and you know the maximise button are now right, right next to the Ubuntu icon there. And it's also got a Mac style menu which changes with every application, which I quite like. And it also hides um, the Unity bar. Um, so it's almost um, full screen viewing. If you hover over the icon and move over, then you should be able to access the dock. Though it can be a little bit buggy if the truth be told. Though, you know, I quite like it overall. You know, it's pretty nice. And, you know, if I um, minimise it, um, you can tell um, that the um, home folder is open because it's got that triangle there and then you can obviously close it and the triangle goes away. And if we look at the behavioural windows, you're probably familiar with it. You know, we obviously have the minimise, the maximise and the close button on this side of the screen opposed to over here in Ubuntu. Though I shouldn't have to explain all of this, You'll prob you probably know how that works. Um, now what else can I show you? Let's take a look at the web browsers. Um, in uh, Ubuntu, um, the default web browser has been Firefox um, for as long as I can remember. Or it might have always been Firefox. It probably has always been Firefox. Um, and in Windows, we obviously have um, Internet Explorer. Um, you know, I quite like Firefox. Um, I had been using Firefox from the first version up until Firefox 3. However, when Firefox 4 came out, I decided to switch over to Google Chrome. Um, I would never recommend using Internet Explorer. Um, it's just the problem with Internet Explorer is, um, is that it's integrated into the actual operating system rather than just being an application on top of it. Um, so, you know, hackers can easily do buffer, um, you know, overflow attacks on you and gain access to your system. So I'm not a big fan of Internet Explorer. So that's the web browser in each of the operating systems. Uh, what else can I show you? Let's take a look at the um, media players. Uh, you have um, Banshee in um, Ubuntu by default. Uh, and the Banshee controls appear um, here um, underneath the volume control, which is pretty convenient. Um, oh, what am I doing? So yeah, I quite like Banshee. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, I like it more than Amarok. Um, though you can obviously, um, you know, change um, the media player. You know, you can install additional ones and you can obviously move Banshee. It's not like Windows where you cannot uninstall Windows Media Player, etc. So if we go over to Windows, we have two options. We have Windows Media Center, um, which I use, um, I use um, with my TV card. And we have Windows Media Player, which I don't use at all. I use iTunes personally. So, you know, you're probably familiar with both of these. So, um, they aren't going to work well inside of um, the virtual box machine. And both of these media players require you to set them up before you use them, opposed to, you know, Banshee, which I'm not going to do. Um, so, that's pretty much the media players. Um, what else do we have here? We also have Brazero Disk Burner by default in um, Ubuntu. And in Windows, we have Windows DVD Maker, burn pictures and video to DVD. You know, they are both similar applications. Um, so that's the media taken care of. Games. What games come with it by default? You get Solitaire, G Brainy, Mahjong, Mine, Sudoku. You also get a few basic games in, um, you know, Windows. Actually, no, you don't. Actually, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm using Windows 7 Professional, which um, doesn't install the games by default, or it mustn't. Um, I forgot because I have um, I have Ultimate on my PC. I forgot that it, the professional version doesn't have games. So, um, depending on your version of Windows, you may or may not um, have any games. So, the truth is, you probably aren't going to play, you know, the Windows games or the default Ubuntu games. Um, so, yeah, you can obviously... Um, you know, find more games. Um, yeah. 
so what else can I take a look at? Let's take a look at the um, Office applications. Uh, we have LibreOffice Writer, which is the equivalent to Word. We have Calc, um, which is the equivalent to Excel. We have Impress, which is the equivalent to um, PowerPoint. You can see that the colouring is even the same. You know, like Word is blue, Excel is green, PowerPoint is this reddish colour. You know, they're obviously trying to make it easier for people to know which is which. Um, and obviously in Ubuntu 11.4 you have LibreOffice now instead of um, OpenOffice. I won't go into that. You can Google it if you want to know more about what happened there. And obviously in Windows you have to pay for Microsoft Office. I think by default you get Notepad and WordPad. You get Notepad and WordPad, nothing special. Though you can obviously also install OpenOffice and LibreOffice on Windows too, though it's just not included by default, which is a bit of a um, pain. Um, and now let's um, take a look at um, how you update um, both of the operating systems. So let's search Update and we get the Update Manager. Let's just wait for this to open. It's probably going to um, check for updates. Ah, uh, let's click check. Okay, loading software list. And let's go into um, show all of the available updates, I believe. And whilst we're waiting, let's go to the Windows machine and open Windows Update. Oh, there only appears to be one update for Ubuntu 11.4. It's probably because it was only released a day or two ago, so there aren't you know many updates yet. There's only one. Um, though um, when I installed Windows 7 in the VirtualBox machine, I um, selected Ask Me Later for automatic updating. That's why it's not turned on. I don't want to waste my um, you know downloads on a virtual machine. Um, though you know you are probably familiar with um, updating on Windows. Um, so where is it? Check for updates. You have to configure the settings first. Okay, let me choose my settings. Um, I usually select check for updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. Um, yep, okay. And it's now checking for updates. We only have the run update in Ubuntu. Um, and yeah, in Ubuntu, um, let's check the settings for this. Um, I have to enter in a password. And yeah, um, so Ubuntu updates, important security updates, recommended updates. By default, um, you don't um, have pre-released updates or unsupported updates, which is, you know, they aren't recommended. Or, you know, your computer won't be as stable if you install them, most likely. It's um, set to check for updates um, daily, and it only updates about available updates by default, whereas Windows likes to download and install them by default and show new distribution releases, um, normal releases never or long-term support um, releases only. Um, Ubuntu 11.4 um, isn't a long-term release, I believe 10.4 was. Um, you know, I don't usually worry with that, I just go for the newest thing that comes out personally. So yeah, that's pretty much updates in Ubuntu, or the update manager in Ubuntu. And in Windows, as you can see, um, there are a lot of updates that need to be installed. Though obviously Windows 7 has been out for a lot longer. And you know, even after I have installed these updates and restart the virtual machine, there will be a whole bunch more because um, you know, Windows um has a history of releasing patches on patches on patches. So there are gonna be hundreds of updates that need to be installed with Windows. Um now what else can I show you? Um that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, so let's have a quick look here. I'd also like to show you the Ubuntu Software Center quickly. Obviously with Windows you um, have your favourite download site or you Google software and download it. Though with, um, well, with almost every Linux distribution they have some sort of um, software center. Um, the, the Ubuntu Software Center is the best that I have come across. They have different um, departments so I can click internet then they have different categories, so I can click web browsers. 
and you know and it's just really convenient you know really handy so I could go to um, Chromium web browser more info and you know you can read about it it will load a picture for you it will also check for reviews and you will get a star rating um, so and this is also new to Ubuntu 11.4 I'm in like um, you know 1010 or 104 you didn't have the rating or um, review um, section if I'm not mistaken so though yeah um, you know I, I really like the Ubuntu Software Center um, and you know you won't really get any viruses from it I don't think um, it, well you can get viruses from um, the Software Center though that's only if um, you add unsafe um, repositories though that all comes down to the user really um, yeah, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can really show you. Um, so yeah, um, the new Ubuntu, you know, it hasn't copied Mac though. A lot of its, um, you know, a lot of its features like the Unity um, interface and, you know, the change in window behavior were inspired by Mac OS X. Um, just as, um, you know, the taskbar was also inspired by Mac OS X, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions about um, Ubuntu or Windows 7, feel free to ask me. Um, and if you want me to make any other videos um, comparing certain components between one or the other, then let me know. Thanks for watching.